Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my gosh, that just happened. What's up, gang? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today, we're actually gonna be looking at the new Scarlet and Violet Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer Boxes with no delay. Starting off with Scarlet. Scarlet is actually the game that I purchased and played through first. I still haven't got my Shiny Charm. There's a lot of things I still need to do in Scarlet before I can move on to Violet. But these uh, these ETBs are pretty nice. I really like that they did two this time around. If you're an ETB collector, these Pokemon Center exclusives are typically a really nice uh, value. They tend to hold for a really long time. They don't print as many of these as they do with regular ETBs. But yeah, this is the first time opening one of these up on the channel. So real quick, obviously it comes with our little player's guide, uh, the new EX gameplay dynamics, things like that. And obviously we have our nice big list here with, but of course the one card everybody's chasing right now is this Miriam. And uh, I know in Japanese it's actually worth a lot more than it is in English. We can get these packs out here. Boom. Take a look at these sleeves. Honestly, these look pretty similar to the, the ones in the regular uh, ETB. We've got a code card going out to the fan gang. Enjoy. Oh, there's two promo cards in this? Like an air box? What's happening? There's actually two promos in this box. I've never seen anything like that before. This is the exact same promo twice basically that's so weird this is a black star promo so this is in fact a promo card and then we have the exact same card but with a pokemon center stand let me see if you guys can see that or not very interesting we got our energy brick right here with all of our new gray bordered energies our dividers which i kind of dig i never thought gold and red would look so good this is a really nice color combo and our uh, damage counters right there which are teal and then these are our new style of uh, poison and burn indicators. So that's it for the ETB content. All right. And now we have our packs. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 packs in this Pokemon Center exclusive. Usually there is 10, but with the price increase, uh, it seems like they decided to just add a little bit more value by throwing an extra pack in there to sort of uh, just make it worthwhile, I guess. But let's see what we can get out of these packs here. And then we actually still, after this, are going to open up the uh, Violet version. No more pack trick. So that's going to take some getting used to for me. But we got a Switch, Way Coco, Tropius. Make sure I'm not drifting off camera here. Pokeball, Bombardier, Hypno, Beach Court, Toxel Reverse, a Swovid Reverse, double reverses now, and a Cloth Hollow. As one of the new Pokemon in Gen 9, Scarlet and Violet. I just think it's a really cool design Pokemon. It feels like a Pokemon to me. And uh, I can't stand it when sometimes new Pokemon come out and they don't feel like real Pokemon. They feel more like a Digimon or something. That always stresses me out. I'm like, no, Pokemon have a very specific type of uh, art direction. And sometimes they go way off the uh, the rails. Kilowattrel Reverse. Armor Rouge Reverse. Okay, we got a Reverse Rare. And a Quackwaval. Quackwaval was not my uh, starter Pokemon. I went with Sprigatito. A, because the name is really awesome to say, but also because I always go Fire type for whatever reason whenever I play the games. And this time I wanted to mix it up. I wanted to go Grass type. It always seemed to me like Grass type might be one of the hardest ones to start out with, but honestly, it was a really, really good time. Um, the hardest thing for me playing Scarlet and Violet was the, uh, I guess just the dynamic of you, you have to go to the gyms in order to like level up it being an open world. I really just felt like I wanted to just go places and just level up my Pokemon, catch new Pokemon, but they really make it difficult. Rare candy reverse, uh, to level up if you're not getting your gym badges in a houndstone. Houndstone and uh, Grievert are two of my new favorites. Obviously, you guys know I love the ghosties. Hashtag good luck ghosties down in the comments. If you remember that, if you're one of the OGs on this channel. Here we go. All of the people, there's been a lot more people uh, joining the fan gang recently. I, I noticed that there's been some new subscribers, some new comments, some new faces around. Um, welcome guys, welcome to the fan gang. 
Uh, if you're not following me on Instagram, follow me at Pokefang Official. I'm constantly doing giveaways, chat with me in the DMs, all that stuff. I like to keep it like real community. Torantula Reverse, Zangoose, and an Oikolone, Oik, Oink Cologne EX. There we go. Try to get a nice close up shot for you guys. Maddening Scent. I'll bet. I can grab that code. I'm trying to be a little bit quicker with the codes, guys, so that, uh, you have a little bit better of a chance there. We got our Lechonk right there to go with the Oink alone. Slowpoke, Watchroll, Driftbloom, Defiance Ban, Tatsuguri, Pulitzer, Sandial, and a Professor's Research. The Rosada is my professor. And uh, Professor Turo will be mine when I play Violet. Another code card coming out to you guys. Getting used to this no uh, Patrick thing. It's a little trippy. A little trippy. I'm not going to lie. All right. Grieverd. Still looking for the uh, the illustration rare version of this. This Grieverd. Really like the way that that looks. It's got these really cool um, like dog toys basically like all around it that are uh, ghost Pokemon. Cacturn. The Viper. Reverse. And an Iron Treads EX. I don't know why I almost just said GX. Definitely not GX is in this set. Code card going out to the Fang Gang. Charcadet, Capsicid, uh, Potion, Buizel. Sometimes my screen lags a little bit, guys, but I'm reading it off of the screen. Mesa Goza, Growlithe, Reverse, Pokeball, and a Howlucha. There we go. Code card going out. We have another Torantula. Riolu, Magneton, Plotzer, Breloom, Kilowattrel, Greedent, Tatsugiri again. I love this Pokemon. I, I literally spent like two hours walking around that lake looking for the Titan, the giant Titan that I was supposed to battle, only to find out that this little guy was uh, where I was supposed to go. Chansey and an Indeedy Hollow. Moving on here, guys. Thought that the pack trick would like save us some time now that we don't have to do it, but I've just noticed that maybe I'm just going a little bit slower now because of all these new artworks. Flittle, Shroomish, Mankey, making a mess with my card pile over here. Spear Tomb, I actually uh, almost caught a Spear Tomb on top of like a mountain or something like that. And for whatever reason, I wasn't able to catch it and it fled. And I uh, was never able to find another one. For whatever reason, Bisharp, Dolive, so no art rare so far. And a King Gambit, second to last pack magic. Let's do it. All right, code card going out. And a mouse, Smoliv, Primeape, Palmy, Tatsugiri, Scovillian, Scovillian, I guess. Torkoal, Hypno, Reverse. There we go. We got finally got an illustration rare. Got a Dolive right there. And then the Don Dozo. So this is the Titan that I was looking for. And there's our little Tatsugiri. So honestly, 11 packs, three hits so far. Not the best hits in the world either. Full art's pretty nice. But last pack here, hopefully we can get something. Otherwise, it's a pretty dry box, to be honest. All right, code card going out. Make sure I'm still not drifting off camera. We've got a regular Dolive, okay. Quaxley, Onyard. Crushing Hammer, Rocky Helmet, a Ball Stiff. Honestly, this is like one of my favorite Pokemon to have in my party. Mareep, oh, and a Miriam, but not the uh, not the Miriam we're looking for. I actually really liked that character in the game. I was kind of surprised at how hyped the card ended up getting uh, for everyone just because of the fact that like it was very secondary sort of side quest. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I was just going to say it was like a secondary side quest. I personally enjoyed it and I thought everyone else would probably just skip it. But for some reason, this character, this character right here. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me that that just happened? That is insane. This thing is beautiful. Look at this card, guys. 
look at this card. I mean, this is how I should show you guys the cards close up. That looks so good. This looks way better than using my card cam. There it is. That's the card everybody's been chasing, especially in Japanese. I know it's not like, it's only like a 70 or $80 card right now in English, which is still a really nice pull. Last pack magic too. All right, guys, we still have another ETB to open. I got to tidy up here first. And now we're going to open up the Violet, which I personally think this is a much nicer artwork than the Scarlet. I am a bigger Scarlet fan. I'm a bigger Coridon fan, but that could change when I eventually play Scarlet or uh, excuse me, when I eventually play uh, Violet, maybe I'll like Maridon more. But here we go. We have our 11 packs. These are the sleeves that we get in this ETB. Like I said before, usually these are different sleeves um, than the regular ETBs. Code card going out the fang gang. I'll flip that one over for you. And then we have our two promos. These are probably like one of the, the best promo artworks that I've seen. It's a shame that they're like not a textured card or anything. I wish that they went with texture on these promo cards instead of giving us two so that we would have one that's a regular illustration rare and then one that is a uh, etched version of the same card for Pokemon Center. Honestly, they kind of remind me of the Moonbrion, which maybe is what they're going for. We have our nice dividers right there. These are also gold on the back. And we have the same dice, which apparently opened on the inside of this box for some reason. So those are spilled out all over the place, but we have our packs here. We have insane pulls already. So let's see what we can get out of this next one. Like I said, guys, most people buying these are probably gonna be keeping them sealed. It is more of a long-term sort of collector's item, but you know, I usually try to pick up two of everything so I can open it up here on the channel and then also keep it in my personal collection. So that's what we're doing here today. Go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment, guys. It really, really helps my channel. We got that Grievered, but not the illustration rare that we're looking for and a Meow Sparata because I am up against a really tough, really tough algorithm. It does not even recommend my videos to my own subscribers. It's very, very difficult for my videos to get out. Work really hard at making them good quality, you know, good quality content. Maybe they're not the most entertaining at times, but you know, we're here to form a family. We're here to hang out and open packs together, have fun at the end of the day. I'm not the type of person that wants to, uh, you know, have any kind of drone show in the sky. Not for me. Vitality band, Arvin reverse. Oh, I saw that, saw that shiny edge right there. That gets me every time right there. I think that's a full art or something. You got a Cyclozar and a fire energy. Let me just say, I cannot, as a designer and art director in my day job, the fact that this says basic energy, basic energy and energy, it kind of gets under my skin a little bit. I don't know why they did that, why they felt the need to say energy so many times. We get it that it's an energy card. You can see it very, very clearly. And it really only needs to be on there once. Pokeball, Rotom, Defiance Band, Driftbloom, Nest Ball, Toxel Reverse, Dedene. Man, I have not been pulling these art rares. And a Rev of Broom. All right, come on now. Let's see, we got the Coridon pack art in the Miraidon box. Guys, let me know in the comment. I'm not just comment baiting, but really, truly, let me know in the comments if the pack sounds uh, bother you because I can get a different microphone or something. I just recently noticed how much my microphone actually picks up the, uh, the pack crinkling. Some people might not like that. Uh, so just let me know. Let me know what your thoughts are on that because I could always switch it up. Palmo is our uh, reverse. We got a Primeape, second reverse, and a Slowbro. If you get double reverses, that you're going to get a hollow. And I don't know if that's always the case, but it definitely seems that way. There we go. We got a Drowsy. Uh, <laughs> Nimona, or as... My fiance likes to call her pneumonia. Lechonk, Lebebe, Team Star Grunt, Zangoose, Youngster, Hypno is our reverse. I like the reverse psychic pattern there. Sometimes these 
it's the foil on these is very minimal it almost just seems like they're glossy we got a varum that's actually the first time i've seen that card and an annihilate which is a really cool evolution of primate i'm actually as soon as i'm done hitting a uh, record on this thing or i guess hitting stop record on this video i'm going to be jumping over to a whatnot stream with the guys at elite pokebox aka xp collect is the name of the the uh, physical brick and mortar store mashchiv we got tatsugiri uh to join one of their whatnot streams and check out what they got going on over there if you guys aren't familiar definitely get involved in that community even if you don't want to buy anything just jump in the chat we're having so much fun uh say pokefang sent me i'll probably be there so i'll say what's up um definitely give it a shot professor's research again that is my professor um really really positive awesome fun uh community that's sort of being formed around that they're really really nice uh guys and uh yeah i've known them for a couple of years now and really really uh love being part of that community it's phenomenal ralts and mouse trying to build a similar sort of positive pokemon collector community over here with the fang gang that's a geary oh hey c and double there that's a geary reverse an electric generator i don't think i've seen that one yet and the gyarados ex let's go all right that's what i'm talking about with the water energy to power it up although gyarados usually is pretty power hungry beautiful card right there that's honestly that's two chase cards that's two big chase cards i know a lot of people are looking for that i think i think pokey rev was having a hard time pulling that card but he may have just pulled it in a recent video uh i could be making that up but i feel like i saw that we got a spupa metatite you guys made it this long in the video i could probably let you in on a little secret because there's not going to be many people are going to actually see it i am planning on doing a mystery box video i'm not even planning on doing it i've already started to do it i just have to have him actually receive the mystery box Growlith tarantula there we go wow terrible print lines terrible print lines look at those oh and i'm right on ex look. focusing on getting a mystery box over to pokey rev it just feels like the right thing to do and following his content obviously for a very long time huge fan um not stan level fan but just a big fan of his content i love that he's sort of like constantly like upping the entertainment value there we go Code card going out pokey gear and uh having somebody on the east coast um also be a pokey tuber was a big inspiration for me starting this channel because prior to that i thought i had to like live in la or something to be you know some sort of pokemon youtuber like there was some like elite thing going on with just location but when i found rev i was like okay so i can i can do this i can definitely do this toad school reverse and a meow Scarada. even with the green theme there look at that we got the little duskull right over here he's glowing with that green light underneath him i don't know if you guys have ever noticed this either i have this like audio meter here so that's basically like the hype meter for if we get any good pulls then i got these new two lights over here recently a lot of the issues i was having with the lights i had before was uh that flickering effect so it was like this weird flickering effect was happening behind me and i feel like it just is probably really distracting i don't want it to be any kind of like you know seizure trigger or anything like that for anyone so i wanted to get rid of that um obviously it also makes the, the quality a little bit better you don't have stuff like that going on that was basically just because i was using like these cheap 20 dollars outdoor lights um, and now i got these two uh, led tubes which honestly aren't that much more expensive i think they're only 30 bucks each plotzer reverse marie reverse and an armor rouge that hollow foil got me again with that good luck ghosty energy uh, i know that i have been sort of mia a lot a lot's been going on with my work uh, and personal life it's been making it really difficult for me to get back into filming but uh, i do plan on making a full comeback very very soon grievered mass shift as i will no longer be opening or opening no longer be working overtime so that should give me the free time to start doing these again and if you are an editor or you know someone who can edit 
videos into like shorts or anything like that, definitely hit me in the DMs at Pokefang Official on Instagram because I am looking for some help with uh, getting the content out the door since I have been so busy. Tarantula, Dolive, Reverse. All right, guys, this is it. This is last shot. Let's see, what did we get? The Gyarados EX, last pack of magic. Obviously, these are gonna be my two favorite pulls from today's video. Let me know in the comments what you think of these cards if you were able to pull them. All right, fan gang, make sure to do all that YouTube stuff on the way out. I hope to see you in the next video. And as always, happy haunting.